to your health. Sponsored by Assi Dental Associates. Four lives saved, all from the generosity of one good Samaritan. In today's To Your Health report, Megan Fee discovers the importance of organ donation in the Low Country this National Donate Life Month. And it's my favorite. It says, I shared my spare. Christy Ma is just one link of a remarkable chain. I was able to give life. And her story begins, of all places, on Facebook. This is Maggie's post. With a stranger in need. She lets you know that she, you know, has kidney disease. She's been through a whole lot. I didn't know her, and I'm not sure how I even came across the post, but it just touched my heart, and I felt moved to sign up to see if I could be a donor for her. After some testing, Ma was approved to donate. Just one problem. But I wasn't a match for Maggie. Thankfully, experts at the Medical University of South Carolina had a life-saving solution. They found someone who is a match to Maggie, but their donor is not a match to them, and we just trade. And so began MUSC's largest internal living donor exchange. In three days of surgeries, four patients got new kidneys from four donors. And like Domino's, Maggie got a kidney from another unrelated donor, all while Ma's kidney found a different match. Cameron Coleman. The fact that it was just a complete stranger giving out the, giving, the goodness of her heart was just surreal. I mean, she's a saint, and I, I mean, I couldn't thank her enough. I mean, she gave me my life back. She was 15 weeks pregnant when she was told her kidneys were failing last year. I had to go to dialysis six days a week for about two hours a day, and so that was really rough. Her dad, Michael, was a match, but Cameron's doctors wanted her to have a younger donor. So, adding another link to the chain, Michael gave his kidney to a different patient in need so that Cameron could get Ma's kidney. I was, you know, helping my daughter, and that's all I really was focused on the whole time. But then when you see that someone else is going to also be helped, I mean, it was really amazing. The feeling was mutual for Ma when she saw Cameron with her new baby after the transplant. It really made me emotional to see her with her little girl, to think that, you know, her life is going to be better and longer because we all went through that. <laughs> Eight patients who started as mostly strangers, now fully recovered and forever connected. I think all of us in there were probably in tears. With a message for you. It's just worth it. Just if you feel moved to do it, act on it. You, you can do it. This April and every month. The fact that you can change someone's life, that you can make it better. It doesn't take anything away from you. Like, you don't need that extra kidney. <laughs> so, donate. Donate life. In Charleston, Megan Fee, Count on Two.